Hi everyone, Nadine Briggs here, Director of Simply Social Kids and author and managing partner of How to Make and Keep Friends. Today I wanted to talk to you about issues that happened at school that um, kind of upset me a bit. I wanted to share with you my thoughts and see what we can do to help kids out during the school year, especially since we've just started. Many kids have an, a honeymoon period when they start a new school year. They're going to be on their best behavior for the first I don't know, three to six weeks of school, let's say. But if they inherently have impulsivity issues or distractibility, whether it be due to a diagnosed issue such as an ADHD or autism spectrum disorder or something like that, or if they just tend to be a little active and excitable when things happen, what generally happens to kids who have that issue in schools and actually in other settings as well, is they'll get punished for having that impulsivity. Uh, oftentimes they'll get removed from the other children, they'll be reprimanded in some way, maybe sent to the principal or something like that. And honestly, I, I get upset about that because it's not like these kids who have impulsivity issues are thinking through ahead of time what they're doing and the impulse or the action that's going to happen and saying, oh, I'm going to do this anyway. I totally understand the outcome, yet I'm making this choice with my eyes wide open going into this thing. They do stuff before they stop to think about it. It's not deliberate and it's not pre-thought. So when children get punished for that, it's an injustice because they can't help it. So what are they really getting punished for? They're getting punished for having an impulsivity issue. I liken that to my adult daughter who many of you know is now 20, she's an adult, uh, and she has Down syndrome. And so it would be like you put her in the corner or punish her for not knowing her math facts. That would be cruel. And yet this happens to kids who have impulsivity issues all day long in schools all over the world. So as, as parents and teachers, let's keep that in mind. Maybe put a plan in place for children if they are having impulsivity issues of what to do instead. Maybe redirect them, give them some tips on how to do it better the next time how to deal with that moment of boredom and so on. So there's a plan in place, they don't get punished. So thanks for listening.